we will go, hunting we will go. I own the mill, we owe hunting we will go. All right, I am in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. And I believe there is a Wally World here. Yep, there's the sign. We're going to go scope it out and see if they've got any product. Once we figure out exactly how to get up the hill, and I think that might have been the entrance. Uh, there might be another entrance. Let's, yeah, here's one down here. All right. We'll figure this out one way or the other. So, let's see if Wally World here in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania has any stock for us to look at. Let's see. If I were a card, where would I be? Well, that was interesting. Wally World actually had quite a bit of stock. Uh, they had a, a lot of the usual, and they had a ton of Basketball Chronicle in. I saw fat packs, hanger boxes, and blaster boxes. Didn't see any mosaic, but I was curious to see what they'd have. So, we're seeing a lot, and I mean a lot, of Chronicles Basketball out there. Makes me wonder how much of that got printed. So pretty interesting stuff. It was tough trying to get to the product unless you were in line because it was behind the counter. So hopefully you're able to see what was on the shelf with some of the photos that I took. Sometimes when you're in these Wally Worlds, you get some looks when you're doing photos from the end of the counter. So hopefully you got a good sense of what was there. But at least we're finding product in the stores again. So, that's a good start. All right, back to the interstate, back on the highway, and off to Jersey we go. All right. Welcome to Jersey. Now get the hell out. <laughs> So welcome to New Jersey. We have no cards. That is definitely what we were seeing there in the old uh, Wally World. I'm trying to get out of here in this parking lot is a whole nother situation. No cards and you can't leave. That's never a good answer. All they had were all they had inside were hanger boxes of the mat football stuff so that was it not even a top package nothing completely cleaned out so is that what we're gonna see this week we'll have to see what happens all right let's mosey on i'm heading back to the room and making some dinner and then we'll see what happens all right well i am still in the state of new jersey the cold state of new jersey though it's not that horrible. It's 28 degrees compared to what we had last week when we were car hunting out in the wild and it was six or three or whatever that was. So it's been kind of a crazy week. I haven't been able to get out as much as I wanted to to go scope stuff out but I'm heading right now to a Walmart and we're gonna see what's going on after the light turns green I guess. Damn I hate when that happens. So how are you guys doing finding stuff out in the wild? Depending on where you are, there's quite a bit of product out there now. I think the flippers have definitely walked away from this for the time being. 
Um, we're seeing cards on the Target website hang around a heck of a lot longer. I mean, as of when I'm recording this, there's still mosaic solo packs at Target, and that's been for over a week plus. So, what does that tell you? Um, so let me know what you're finding out there in the wild. Where are you finding it? And all that good stuff. Tell me in the comments below what's going on. Well, how about that? I actually ran into the vendor who was actually putting cards out. Didn't have a whole lot. But she was putting some stuff out. And we had what? Here's the interesting thing. They had Chronicle Hangers. Now, I don't know what they were running for before in the Wally Worlds. But the prices were 15 and change for a hanger box. Which is actually just about the same as what Target is charging online but to do the two pack so it's two for 30 or whatever it might be but uh interesting that that's the case and it's getting a little strange out there it's at night and they're stocking this wally world she didn't have any mosaic product which was unfortunate but that's the way it goes sometimes you don't don't always win but what else do they have there they have the heritage high number blaster boxes they had Illusions um, packs, $7.98 a pack. They had Chronicle packs at $7.98 a pack. Uh, no football stuff, which was too bad. I was kind of hoping maybe there'd be something there, but there was not. So, that's the scoopage there for Wally World. And now I gotta get back to the hotel and kind of pack things up as I'm in New Jersey for part of the day tomorrow, or most of the day tomorrow, and then I head down to the uh, Washington, D.C. area for Thursday morning before making a trip across uh, the southern route, as I call it, heading to uh, Morgantown, West Virginia, and all that good stuff we talked about earlier. So, let's move on and see what we can find out there in the wild. All right, we are going to stop at a Target and at a Barnes & Noble. I'm hoping Barnes & Noble is open here. It should be. It's 9 o'clock, but we'll, I never know when retail places are opening now. With... Good morning. Ah, uh, you do have some problems. How about that? Okay. How have you been? Folks, look at that. We've got product at Barnes & Noble here in, what are we, Gaithersburg, Maryland? Yep. There you have it, kids. I'm not going to give you a zip code. You're on your own. All right, our next stop is going to be Target. Target. Let's see what they have. Oh, let's see what we can find up in this sporting department. Let's see what we find. That's the I got. I see stuff, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah, we got it. The Pokemon. Lots of magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tons of it. Let's see what we have here. Not a whole lot. The usual offenders are sitting here at Target. And still, 15 bucks for those puppies. And that's it, nothing hiding anywhere. A full set, that's it. So there's your look there. But for other cards, Magic and Pokemon, and yeah, Pokemon's been wiped out in boxes, I see too. Oh, look, we have a hidden box. Oh, 
Well, that was interesting. We found uh, we found mosaic blasters at Barnes and Noble. We uh, they had a lot of stuff at Barnes and Noble, but that was really the only thing I was looking for because I hadn't found it in a while yet. So able to get that at the 10% discount. So the boxes came out to 27 a piece. I think it was <coughs> something like that. So definitely a decent price for that. And they had tons of flux, but I'm not a huge, you know, I'm back and forth whether we're buying any boxes of flux or not. There's been a lot of mixed views on that. It is a premier product, but still, there's only a few cards per box. So, yeah, kind of left letting that sit for right now. So, let's move along and see what else is happening as we uh, get this day underway. In a little while, I'll be back on the road and starting to head toward... Um, upper Maryland and then hanging a left and heading uh, toward uh, the panhandle of Maryland and over to West Virginia. So should be an interesting day. Well, so let's see what else we can find out there in the wild. Strap in. Because I'm driving. Well, that was quite an episode. We were able to find some product out there in the wild. And there's more coming up soon as I wasn't able to get all of it into this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you know when those videos are uploaded. And we will see you right back here next time on Card Hunting in a Wild. Take care, everybody.